Hello, my name is Dr. Chris Baliga, and I'm here to answer questions regarding the COVID vaccines. As many of you know, the Pfizer and Moderna COVID vaccines are both being distributed in the United States. We wanted to answer some common questions you might have regarding the vaccines. Both the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines are safe. They are both non-live vaccines, which means you cannot get COVID-19 from either of them. Researchers have been studying and working with messenger RNA vaccines for decades. The technology used for both vaccines has been used for cancer therapies. While the development and approval process of the COVID-19 vaccines was accelerated, both of the vaccines had to undergo rigorous safety standards and meet effectiveness standards set by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. There are no serious side effects from the vaccine, aside from the rare risk of an allergic reaction. Individuals who have had a severe allergic reaction to other vaccines in the past should discuss the vaccine with their doctor. Currently, there are two FDA-approved vaccines, one from Pfizer and the other from Moderna. Both manufacturers report that their vaccines show approximately 95% efficacy at preventing both mild and severe symptoms of COVID-19 by one to two weeks following the second dose. These data and numbers have been confirmed and reviewed by the FDA. We will learn more about the effectiveness of the vaccines as more individuals are vaccinated. Both the Pfizer and Moderna vaccinations come in two doses, so please be prepared to set two appointments. With both the Pfizer and the Moderna vaccinations, it is common for patients to have some arm soreness and feel under the weather for a few days, especially after the second shot. This is not an allergy, but a known common side effect. Other common, yet minor side effects are muscle aches, slight fever, and fatigue lasting no more than one to two days. When you get the vaccine, you can sign up for the CDC's vaccine safety follow-up app called vSafe. This will allow you to report any side effects you experience to the CDC. The app also reminds you to get the second vaccine. The first supplies of vaccine are limited and offered first to specific groups at highest risk, such as workers in healthcare and people in nursing homes and other long-term care facilities, and older adults. COVID-19 vaccine supply will continue to be limited for some months. Eventually, vaccine will be available for everyone in all recommended groups. You can register for email updates on when and where you can get the vaccine by going to the Phase Finder website developed by the Washington State Department of Health. Thank you for watching this video about the COVID vaccine. While the vaccine prevents or reduces severity of illness, we don't yet know if it prevents transmission to others. Therefore, it is important to continue practicing social distancing and wearing a mask even after you have received your shots.